Um, I think he's a good manager. I think he's a winner. Um, his football is not always attractive. I, I, you know, I don't accept that, but Tottenham need trophies. So uh, I'm here with Spurs legend Chris Waddle. Um, Chris, a couple of Spurs questions first. Uh, what have you made to Tottenham season so far? Probably what you tend to expect with Tottenham, I've got to be honest. Um, a little bit of inconsistency. Uh, opportunities are there which you'd like to see them grab. Um, and sometimes they don't. Um, in general, I think uh, Conte plays a certain style of football. Uh, we know he likes to play the counter-attacking style. He likes to sit deep. Um, bring teams onto them and hit them on the break, which can be frustrating at times if you're not winning. Um, it's not as exciting as Tottenham fans like. And I obviously had four years at Spurs and I know what they say with football they like to see. Um, but he's, he's very passionate. And, um, you know, if you'd said at this time of the year before the World Cup will be in the top four, you would have took that. I didn't think Tottenham would be top of the league. Um, but uh, there'll be in a, a fight for the, the, the top four uh, spaces at the end of the season. Uh, at the minute, they're in a good position. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the players react when they come back from the World Cup, um, if they can kick on and uh, make sure they get into that top four. What have you made of the impact of Kulisevsky and Bentoncourt to the team? Big fan of Bentoncourt and Kulisevsky is a very good player, technically very gifted. Um, you can see he, he runs the ball well, he carries it well, he's got it, he gets his head up, he sees the pictures. Um, Bentoncourt has been a brilliant player, he just looks as he's got time on the ball. Um, very rarely gives it away, he sees a pass, can score as well as he's been proven this uh, last few uh, months. Um, so, yeah, they're two good sign very good signings, and I think they're, they're the sort of signings what Tottenham need uh, if they want to keep challenging that top four uh, or getting that top four. So, uh, yeah, they're two very good players. What do you think Spurs need to do in the January transfer window? Me personally, I think the weakness, I was going to say there was a weakness in the side, which I think which they could improve in, um, is the wing-backs. I think uh, Ryan Session has been there now. A few, and obviously the right side, uh, Mr. Royals had a tough tough turn here uh, at Tottenham. And um, Dr. Hugh came in um, from Wolves, hasn't really nailed the play. So if I was looking, I think they've got a lad to both who's at Udinese this season on loan, I think. Um, he'll be there obviously back uh, for next season, but... If I was going to dress it, I would probably say that they need a, a, another centre half and um, a, wing, a couple of wing backs. Mm -hmm. And um, do you think Conte will stay beyond this season and bring Spurs silverware? You don't know what Bruno. Um, one week he ha seems happy and wants what well, he's got a plan and he's got something which he wants to work with and look at. And he, you know, he talks us where you think, wow, he's, he's obviously going to commit. And then if they get a couple of bad defeats in the crowd or restless. All of a sudden, it's like, I don't know if I should be here. I'm either wrong, right man. I, I think that'll just continue with him. Um, I think he's a good manager. I think he's a winner. Um, his football is not always attractive. I, I, you know, I don't accept that. But Tottenham need trophies. You know, it's great when you can entertain uh, and win trophies. It's the best way of winning a trophy, I think. But if it means playing a certain style of football, which will get you a trophy into that cabinet, then so be it. Um, I don't think he eases on the players, which is good because modern day footballers could easily be distracted and he's very strong on discipline. Mm. And if you don't give 110%, you'll not be wearing the shirt. So I'm all for that. Um, but uh, he must get frustrated because he probably looks around thinking, if I could get this player and this player and this player, we are talking challenging. So it must be frustrating when, you know, they obviously say we haven't got the money at the minute or we haven't got the resources to get these players in. So um, I hope he stays for to see how it develops because I, I think it, it, it could be a, a, a nice journey for him if he want, if he's willing to commit. Yeah, and I think all Spurs fans agree with you there about backing him. And, and your prediction on where Spurs will finish the season? Uh, there's no reason they shouldn't finish top four. Um, I definitely think Man City is in there. Uh, Man City and uh, I still think Liverpool will come on a run. Um, I wouldn't write them off. Man United will get it better. They'll get better. Uh, Newcastle are the surprise package, but I don't see Newcastle running the course to top four. Uh, 
I think Chelsea would kick on from January if they get the signings they're talking about bringing in. Then you would expect Chelsea to have another go at it. It's very important for Chelsea to finish top four. You know, money wise, it's uh, you bank every year on the Champions League, and if you're not in it, it costs you a lot of money. So uh, they'll be looking at that. Um, Tottenham's in the mix. I, I, I'd love to say now here and there, Tottenham are guaranteed top four. I can't say that. Um, but they're definitely in the mix of saying, um, why not? 